Hey there, so today is May 7th and I am a few weeks behind on starting my garden uh, but you guys just, the last video that you guys saw was actually just recorded a couple days ago and I have not done anything as far as starting seeds yet but I finally got around to it today so let's take a look. As you see I've got this little cheap little greenhouse thingy in here. I haven't started a lot because honestly most of what I plant I don't start. But I've got some Jacoby little pumpkins here. I've got Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts and all four of those. Hungarian wax pepper, Hungarian wax pepper. So I've got two tubs of those as well. And then I've got giant dill pumpkins. I got six of them, as well as six spaghetti squash and six cucumbers. So that's what I have started indoors, and the rest of it just gets put right into the garden directly. So hopefully in a few days these will start sprouting. Now that I showed you what I planted, I'll be back with you once something starts growing. Well it is now May 12th and every couple of days I've been checking on these seeds and the greenhouse has always been really nice and humid. But when I opened the greenhouse today I had quite a surprise. Ladies and gentlemen we have plants. Quite a few of them actually. These would be all the Brussels sprouts. Looks to me like all the Brussels sprouts are coming up uh, quite a bit more than I thought that they would. Very good germination rate. I put, I dropped just a few seeds into each one of these. As you can see some more than others. But they are sprouting like crazy. It does not look like the Hungarian wax peppers have done anything yet. And neither have the Jack B. Little pumpkins. However, our cucumbers aren't doing anything. Our giant dill pumpkins also aren't doing anything. But, look here. One little spaghetti squash. So hopefully the rest of these plants will start coming up soon. Now all the plants on the first shelf seem to be plenty wet. However, the ones on the second shelf aren't. So I'm going to go ahead and water those today. The ones on the top shelf. Because as you can see, they were all leaning one direction. And that is toward the sun. So to help hopefully get a little bit straighter, I'm going to turn them around every so often. So that they will be going straight up or semi-close to it. And well, I'll be back once there's more to update. So it's only been seconds for you guys, but it's been days for me since that last clip. So that means that it's time to go ahead and check out the greenhouse and see how our plants are doing. I'm really hoping that we got some more plants coming up, especially those wax peppers. You can definitely feel the humidity coming out of here. And wow, looks like the plants are doing pretty good here. Let's see how the peppers are doing. Well, the Hungarian wax peppers look to be growing. So that's good. We got uh, quite a few of them that are popping up in doubles or three due to how I planted them. And looks like we are only missing maybe one, two, three, four. F well, it looks like we may have missed five of them. And that's not too bad because I should have plenty of peppers then. And the giant dill pumpkins look like they are coming in very well. I'm going to have to flip them around though here. So that uh, they'll try to grow up a little bit straighter here. It looks like our squash and the cucumbers are not coming up at all. That's kind of a disappointment. Let's come down here. Let's see, what do we got? We got Jack B. Littles, the little pumpkins. Looks like all of them are coming up, including that little one right there that's lagging behind a little bit. Well, that's good. We got Brussels sprouts. Tons of these. These seeds were so small, guys, that I just had to put a whole bunch of them into each one of these little pots because I had no idea 
how many of them were actually going to sprout. So I'll try to separate them when I plant them. And these are all Brussels sprouts here as well. And it looks like most, if not all, of them had something that sprouted. Maybe this one here. It's got something, but it looks like it may have died. But looks like I need to water these here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to turn these guys around as well. To hopefully get them to kind of start leaning back up with the other direction. As you can see, none of the cucumbers and none of the spaghetti squash are coming up at all. So I'm going to go ahead and put these ones here in a separate container that I can put the lid over them. So hopefully they'll get a little bit warmer and maybe seed. I'll also give them a little bit more water because they're dry as well. So to do that, I think I need one of these to be these littler plants like the Hungarian wax peppers and the Brussels sprouts and then I can take those that aren't plant sprouting and put them in this and cover up this one here. So I'm just going to carefully do that. And these peppers are still pretty wet so I don't need to give them any water. Okay so I made a huge mistake here. We actually have four squash plants spaghetti squash plants that are growing. So I only planted six of the large pumpkins. Now we've got three giant dill pumpkins that are growing and then four spaghetti squash. So I'm glad that we at least have some spaghetti squash if those ones don't start growing. So I'm going to go ahead and separate these See, I thought that's a gigantic dill. I didn't look close enough. All right, so that should be it for the seed starting vlog. I am really impressed with how well this little greenhouse works, and I may end up doing a review for you guys on it later on. I am glad, though, that there is at least four spaghetti squash growing, because that means that at least I'll have some if the other ones don't come up. Now I am kind of sad that those four weren't actually giant dill pumpkins because I would like to have a few more of those just to be on the safe side. Hopefully these ones don't die when I transplant them and it'd be nice to have a few extra really large pumpkins to maybe sell or even just to get the seeds out of. But that should be it for this here seed starting portion of the garden project. I hope that you liked it. I hope that you will stay tuned to see my failures and my successes in the garden this year. Hopefully you guys like this video. I know it's kind of boring for those that are probably used to starting seeds and all that, but I wanted to do it from the beginning of the season all the way to the end and I wanted to start seeds this year. And this is a new experience for me because I've never really started seeds, seeds like this. Um, so it's pretty interesting for me. Make sure you hit that bell for more notifications of this video and all the other ones that I put out there. And well, until next time, you have a good one.